హాయ్ ఎవరి వన్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ ఎస్ చంద్ర వెంకటేశ్వర్లు వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ ఎ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ ఈసి అట్ ఐఆర్ఇ హైదరాబాద్ టుడే విల్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ డిస్క్రిట్ ఫోర్ ఈ ట్రాన్స్ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఎఫిషియంట్ కాంపిటీషన్స్ అండ్ అనాలిసిస్ విత్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎఫెక్టెడ్ విత్ ఎఫిషియంట్ కాంపిటీషన్ ఓకే సో వీ నో దట్ ఆర్ డిఎఫ్టి డిస్క్రిట్ ఫోర్ ఈ ట్రాన్స్ఫార్మ్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ where it is uh, uh, what do you call the dft is uh, ready to define that uh, where x of k x of k x of k is equal to you know that uh, there's some vision where uh, n is equal to where n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of triple x of n n to e power minus j 2 by n k by 2 okay k by 2 so using this all are uh, with the help of this we are going to evaluate we are going to evaluate this x of k that is the dft as well as uh, inverse of dft we will verify that all some examples some mathematical expressions are there with the help of this uh, efficiency uh, what you call properties how it is uh, dft efficient computation and analysis with the example okay for this case uh, so we try to evaluate this uh, example level the dft of the sequence where it is x of n is equal to where this is given where the like, n a n greater than or equal to 0 so with the help of this n is uh, n is ready to substitute here capital n is equal to right on lies capital n where 1 2 3 4 this is where capital n is equal to 4 okay where n is equal to 4 k k ready to substitute that uh, according to previous problem where n is equal to that uh, uh, what do you call that summation where x of k of k, k is equal to the summation n small n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 n minus 1 is n is equal to 4 n minus 1 3 x of n e power j 2 pi n by 2 n so here it is by x of n x of n and the e power minus j 2 pi n k by 2 n we will just mention that n here it is 2 n ok 2 into n where n is equal to 4 ok so here it is so like this by using this all analysis x of 0 go on substituting x of 0 where x equal to where k equal to k equal to 0 k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3 and so on. The magnitude and phase response is ready to that where x of x of 0 equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. So where x of 0, x of 0 equal to what do you call 2. Where x of 1 is equal to as per that total uh, factor 1 plus j where x of x of 2 is equal to 0, x of 3 is 1 minus 1. With the k word, with k versus x of k, so we need to verify that all, what you call the magnitude, the magnitude and phase spectra of x of 0 and so on. The, by using this all. So we are right to evaluate this, evaluate the IDFT, <coughs> inverse discrete Fourier transform of the sequence, where x of k, where x of k is equal to 2, 1 plus j, 0, 1 minus j. So here it is, we know that uh, uh, the DFT, the DFT is, we just now we have verified DFT, come to the IDFT, inverse discrete Fourier transform, where x of n, but here we have to remember that, uh, where DFT we know, discrete Fourier transform is equal to, what you call it is followed by x of k, isn't it, that x of k is equal to, what do you call okay the x of the summation here it is the summation small n is equal to 0 to 
n minus 1 ok uh, what do you call uh, x of x of what do you call x of n into e power e power minus j 2 pi 2 pi n k by capital N ok here the n is what do you call 4 but here it is according to this this the inverse of this dft i dft inverse of dft is the i dft i inverse of discrete Fourier transform is equal to it is followed by what you call x of n x of n that x of n is equal to what you call 1 by capital N the summation the summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 the x of k that is dft x of k into what you call e power e power j previous it is minus here is plus j 2 pi n k by n capital n ok so like this it is assigned that where x of n is equal to 1 by n uh, the summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 n is equal to 4 4 minus 1 to 3 x of k d power j 2 pi small n by n power. So, the n value is right to substitute n is equal to 0 1 by n k equal to 0 to n minus 1 is 3 x of k and d power j k 2 pi n but because of that n is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 ok. So, like this uh, after substituting this all value we place x of 0 equal to 1 next x of 1 <coughs> if x of 1 then 0 x of 2 equal to 0 x of 3 is equal to 0 we know that where x of uh, what you call x of n is equal to 1 0 0 1 like this we note that uh, the computation of each point of the discrete Fourier transform can be accomplished by capital N complex multiplication and n minus 1 complex additions hence the endpoint DFT values can be can be uh, what you call computed in uh, total number of n square complex multi multiplications and uh, n minus n minus one complex addition. This is the best example for evaluating or analyzing or uh, computing the DFT or say, and the uh, IDFT. Okay. Next, uh, find the uh, find the discrete Fourier transform. So as per this. Uh, uh, how we are computing with the help of that problem or maybe example. Find discrete Fourier transform DFT of DFT discrete Fourier transform of x of n is given is 2, 3, 4, 4. Here in this case we know that our formula x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n and t power minus j 2 pi by capital N n to n k. But k is k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on n minus 1. So you, you know this the this uh, mathematical formula for uh, computing efficient computing for DFT where x of k. So using this where x of k x of k is this one after that uh, on, uh, we are ready to verify that all trivial factor e power j pi by 2. So that means it is also equal to cos pi by 2 minus j sin pi by 2. Okay, here it is uh, minus j. Like e power minus j pi cos of pi minus uh, j sin pi is equal to minus 1. Similarly, e power minus j 3 pi by 2 is equal to cos what you call cos 3 pi by cos 3 pi by 2 minus j into sin 3 pi by 2 is is equal to plus j. Next, e power minus j 2 pi is equal to cos of 2 pi minus j uh, sine square sine 2 pi is equal to 1. 
this is the for wa waiting function a twiddle factor is right to measure you have to calculate next if uh, with help of this desirable formula where x of k is equal to summation uh, what do you call n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n into e power minus j 2 pi by n into n k for k is ready to substitute k equal to 0 how it is computing where k equal to 1 what the twiddle factors are varies and where k equal to 3 k equal to 4 and so on up to n minus 1 since here n is you know where capital N is given what that uh, 4 so capital N is equal to capital N capital N is equal to 4 that means 4 minus n minus 1 4 minus 1 is what you call 3 that means 3 values where k k is ready to substitute k equal to 0 k equal to 1 k equal to 2 like this go on substituting that k value right to compute that uh, dft discrete Fourier transform that x of n is given where x of n is 2 3 4 4 like this okay Next, if it is k equal to what you call 0, 1, 2, 3, here it is 3. This of uh, what you call the 3, where n is equal to 4 values, okay. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Like this here, k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, and 3, okay. Next, uh, if, uh, how, how we are evaluating that capital N? Capital N is equal to, we know that. From this 1, 2, 3, 4 that is specified capital N is equal to 4. Okay. So for k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, according to your given uh, DFT, x of n is given. So now you should follow that all step by step procedure that is going to be k is right to substitute k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3. We are to evaluate that x of k dft. So here it is n is equal to 4. That n uh, the k value is right to substitute k equal to 0. k equal to 0. That means n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 is 3. x of n e power 0 is equal to what do you call 2 d power 0 plus how many values here? According to this previous uh, the value is given. So what value here? That value is given 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay. So that means 2, 2, what do you call it? It is given 2, 3, 4, 4. Okay. 2, 3, 4, 4. That is going to be the, uh, what do you call x of n. Okay. Now that n we know that, uh, that k value is right to substitute k equal to 0 here here that k equal to k equal to 0 k is right to substitute ok 2 into e power 0 3 into e power uh, what do you call according to these 3 first value is 2 second value is 3 third value is 4 fourth value is 4 so that means where x of where x of uh, n is equal to e power 0 equal to 2 power 2 into e power 0 plus 3 into e power 0 plus 3 4 into e power 0 plus what do you call 4 into e power 0. Okay, that is e power 0 1, there are 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 1, here it is 13. If you are substituting that k equal to 0. This is uh, this, uh, whether it is efficient computation or normal computation, go on uh, substituting this all k values. Next, x of here it is x of 1. So the k value is right to substitute the k equal to 1. The summation n is equal to 0 to 3 x of n e power minus j 2 pi into n k. n here it is k is there, the k value is 1. Okay, by 4, like this, 2 into e power 0 plus 3 into e power minus j pi by 2 plus 4 into e power minus j pi 
plus 4 into e power minus 3 minus j 3 pi by 2. So overall after substituting this all are simplify this 2 minus what do you call 2 minus 3j minus 4 plus 4j. So after uh, simplifying this minus j 2 plus j. So next where k equal to 2 same procedure where uh, that uh, the summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 is 3 x of n e power minus j 4 pi n k k is ready already it is, is there the 2 pi n no? 2 pi n into k where k equal to what are the k value the k value is ready to substitute what are the k value here yeah, the k value is yeah, the k is equal to k equal to 2, that means 2 into 2, that's why it is a 4, that means minus j 4 pi n into k. So here 2 into e power 0, 3 into e power minus j pi plus 4 into e power minus j 2 pi plus 4 into e power minus j 3 pi and so on. After uh, simplifying this, 2 minus 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 4, so finally that uh, after substituting that k equal to 2, this value that is minus 1. Okay. So, like this, where x of 3, same thing. So, go on substituting this value. So, finally, we are right to verify that all. So, this is the DFT of the sequence x of n is equal to. So, 2, 3, 4, 4 is given according to that. This starting itself, this is the 13. First step, if k equal to 0, if k equal to k equal to 1, it is belongs to this value, if k equal to 2, minus 2, minus 1 and k equal to 3. So finally, this value is like this, okay, okay, like this we are ready to compute that uh, given sequence. Next example, you can consider the problem number 5. Find discrete Fourier transform of x of n is equal to 2, 3, 4, 4, I think so. So, same, uh, we are right to evaluate that computing that uh, go on substituting the k value and so on. But here, in the practical aspects, we have to use the tall MATLAB code. So, the MATLAB code for the DFT equation is for the, with the help of the efficient computation, practically we will verify. Okay, for this, so we should write that all clear, clear all, close all. After that, we have to use that xn, that xn is equal to, what do you call, 2, 3, 4, 4, next n is, it is specified the length of xn, xn we know, 2, 3, 4, 4, the length is, capital N is equal to length, uh, length of xn, we know that 4, n is equal to 0 to, 0 is to n minus 1, semicolon, this is the piece of code while you are writing the code in the MATLAB. Okay, writing this, this using this all mathematical given uh, x of n with this mathematical formula for computing efficient computation in DFT. Just now verified. But in the practical aspect, people are expecting it a real time aspect. Like by writing the piece of code using the high level languages, you will verify the same computation. Compare this manual operation to practical, practical operation which one is the best in terms of the time, in terms of the efficiency, in terms of the reliability and so on. For this, where k equal to 0 is to n minus 1, where wn is that length, the waiting function wn is equal to uh, exponential minus 1 j into 2 pi and by capital N, that is in terms of this e power, this way. Okay. So, so after that, n k is equal to n star n into k. So like this, we should write that all piece of code. Go on verifying. Okay, the MATLAB code using FFT command. So clear all. So close all. X of uh, x of n x n is equal to two three four four because of it is given. DFT of uh, x of n is two three four four of the y is equal to f of t of xn, xn, okay, like this, 
we will expect in a, in a efficient computation in the theoretical and the practical. So we will verify by using this all software. Next we will try to verify that after this uh, session, after this uh, manual operation, we will verify the practical. Next coming to this next uh, example, okay, next problem because of we are ready to uh, verify in the competition, whether the competition is efficient, either manual or practical operation. For that, find DFT for the given sequence x of n for uh, 0 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 3, where x of 0 equal to 1, x of 1 equal to 2, x of t equal to 3, x of 3 equal to 4. Okay. So, according to this, this is the given. Find out the tall DFT discrete Fourier transform. You know that formula. You have to remember that formula. After that, before that, according to the, this problem, so what are the given? What are the given sequence? What are the given data? X of n is given. 1, 2, 3, 4. Because of uh, X of 0 equal to 1. Okay. X of 1 is equal to 2. X of 3 equal to 3. Okay, x of, x of 0, 1, x of 1 is 2, x of 2 equal 3, x of 3 equal to 4. Like this, x of n is given. For k equal to, where k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that means k equal to rate of substitute 0, 1, 2, 3. Because of the 10 value, capital N is given. According to x of n, capital N is decided, capital N is equal to 4. Next, using this solve formulas for k equal to 0, what happens? Next, k equal to 1, k equal to 2. So, go on, go on using the manual operation, now it is computing. The computation is either is efficient or not. That is our task, where uh, k equal to 3. So, we are substituting this all k value. We know that our formula for uh, finding the DFT discrete for transform. This is your desirable. What you call this is the given formula for computing decimation, what you call discrete Fourier transform. X of k equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. X of n and t power minus j 2 pi n capital N into n k. For k equal to 0, this k value right to substitute k equal to 0, what happens? k equal to 1, what happens? k equal to this. 2, k equal to 3, and so on. Finally, well, write to substitute k equal to 0, the k value is 0, same, same procedure, where uh, summation n equal to 0 to 3, x of n e power 0 is equal to 4 into, 4 into, what you call e power 0, 2 into e power 0, 3 into, what you call 3 into 0, plus 4 into e power 0. Okay. So, according to this, 1 plus, after simplifying, according to the, what do you call that, uh, total factor values, okay, so where x of 0 equal to 10. Next, x of 1, where k equal to 1, so here it is, n is equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of n e power j, 2 pi, 2 pi n in, and k, k, here it is, k is available, k equal to 1. This n into 1, like this, 1 into e power 0, plus 2 into e power j, 2 pi, by 2 plus, uh, what do you call, 2 into e power, minus j pi, plus 4 into e power j, 3 pi by 2. After simplifying this, 1 minus j, 2 minus 3, plus j, 4. Like this, further the simplification of this, so this will minus 2 plus j2. Okay. Like this, where x of 2, x of 2 is, where k value is equal to 2, go on substituting, go on using this all computation, computing this all process as usual, finally minus 2. Next, where k equal to 3, use the same computation where some other summation n is equal to 0 to 3 plus x of n and e power j 6 pi. Why it is a pi? 2 pi now before that 2 pi n k where k equal to 3. 
k equal to 3. That means 3 into 3 into 2, 6. That's why it is 6 minus j, 6 pi n by 4 is equal to 1 into e power 0 plus 2 into e power minus 3 j 3 pi by 2, 3 into e power minus j, 3 pi by 3 pi plus 4 into e power minus j, 9 pi by 2 and so on after simplifying this value. 1 plus 2j minus 3 minus 4j into minus what do you call minus 2 minus j. Okay. So like this here it is. Here it is missing. Here it is also equal to this one. So therefore the DFT of the what do you call sequence x of n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 is 10. It is of uh, what do you call starting itself where k equal to 0, 10, if k equal to 1, this value, if k equal to 2, minus 2, if k equal to 3, this value. Finally, the DFT of the sequence x of n is equal to 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 is 10 minus 2 plus j2 minus 2 minus, minus 2 minus j2. Like this, you can consider this as the efficient computation while you are using the word DFT. So now, if you write to somewhat, it is recorrect that this discrete Fourier transform could be applied in science and engineering. Why you are in the previous computation and all? Because of, it is very much useful for uh, DFT, discrete Fourier transform, could be applied in the science and engineering. This example is voice recognition. And uh, one more, the DFT is very much useful in the digital image processing or image processing. Okay, discrete Fourier transform DFT can consider 0 into n squared, fast Fourier transform is 0 n into log this n. Okay, so with this, how it is useful this, we have to recollect this all Fourier analysis. Fourier analysis represent the continuous functions by potentially infinite series of the sine and cosine functions. We know that we are all, all, all familiar with the Fourier analysis. Okay, after that for the Fourier series, the function can be expressed as the sum of series of the sines and cosines. For that, it is represented by x of k. Where x of k is equal to 1 by 2 into a naught plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity a n into cos of n k plus summation n is equal to 1 to infinity bn into sine of nx. But here it is specified that a naught, a naught is equal to 1 by 5 integral minus pi to plus pi f of f of x into dx. But here this value is where an is equal to 1 by pi integral minus pi to plus pi f of x into cos of nx into dx. Similar to the bn, the bn is equal to 1 by pi integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x into sine of nx into dx. But here the 10 value right to substitute n is equal to 1. How it is where is that all bn value? If n is equal to the 10 is equal to 2, how it is affected with bn value? And where n is equal to 3, how it is affected with this the bn value finally. We can write it to a function can be expressed as sum of series of sines and cos sines will be applied. Okay, next come to the Fourier transform. Because it is very much useful for this all our DFT, but we have to recollect in this Fourier series Fourier transform, or that we'll write to apply in uh, what do you call voice recording, voice recognition, or maybe what do you call image processing and other uh, desirable applications. The time we require this, we have to remember this all for your transform also. Fourier series can be generalized to derive the Fourier transform. Forward Fourier transform, it is followed f of k integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x and e power minus 2 into pi, what do you call k x into dk. Okay, and I kx into dk. Next f of x, here it is, right? The inverse of this is the Fourier transform, 
What is the inverse of this similar Fourier transform? It is followed by x of f of x, where f of x is equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of k n t power plus 2 pi i k n t x. But here it is particle e power x i, especially this case. Now this this we have to recollect this e power x i is equal to cos x plus i sin x. You know that you have to remember. Similarly, the Fourier transform maps the time series into the series of the frequencies that compose the time series. Come to the inverse. The inverse Fourier transform maps the series of the frequencies back into the what you call corresponding time, what you call series. So the two functions are inverse of each other. So based on this, the Fourier transform is significant. Next. Now coming to our uh, efficient computation, how we, we are affected with the previous uh, examples on this case. But the thing is, we are using the same only that this discrete Fourier transform maps a sequence over time to another sequence over frequency. Maps a sequence. Map a sequence over time to another sequence over frequency. Okay, that's right. Based on this same same thing we are uh, following, the discrete Fourier transform it is followed by x of k. The summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1. But here it is fn and p power minus 2 pi i by capital N to kn. Same, similar case. Where k equal to 0, k equal to 1, k equal to 2, k equal to 3, k equal to 4 and so on and minus 1, where uh, if it is discrete Fourier, what do you call inverse of discrete Fourier transform, right, to evaluate this one, fn is equal to 1 by n, the summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of k, that is d of t, into e power, previously they are using that all minus, here it is plus, plus 2 pi i pi capital n to k n, k n to n. But this case, that when value right to substitute n is equal to 0, n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, small n is equal to 3, and so on, n minus 1. So let k represents the discrete time signal. Okay, this is, it is specified the k, k is represent the discrete time signal, and fn represents the discrete frequency trans transform function. You have to remember this alpha uh, maps maps a sequence over the time to another sequence over frequency. So, like this, right evaluate the discrete Fourier transform with the efficient computation. Okay. Now, best example is the speech example of the DFT. Okay. Now the DFT computation. Now we are verifying the computation related to that uh, efficient computation, normal computation. Now we are computing. So n elements vector is x, discrete Fourier transform matrix vector produce fn into x, where fi i j equal to the waiting function wn i j for zero less than zero less than equal to i. If j less than n and wn weight function, the primitive the nth root of m t. For this case, right, compute that all using this all condition. The d of t is ready to compute. x of k is with summation n equal to 0 to n minus 1, fn into that quiddle factor, wn minus kn. Okay, if it is, we are ready to calculate, measure the tall i d of t. The inverse discrete Fourier transform, it is followed by fn, since fn is equal to 1 by n, the summation k equal to 0 to n minus 1 x k that twiddle factor wn k. The wn is is also equal to e power 2 pi i by n it is also equal to that what it cos 2 pi by n plus i n to sine of 2 pi capital N. So we have to remember this all uh, n elements vector x 
the matrix vector product of f n x f i r f i j equal to w n i j for uh, 0 less than or equal to i j less than or equal to n and w n is the primitive nth root of empty this trivial factor right to calculate as well as of that right compute the dft and idft of that we can say we will verify that the dft computation is it is efficient computation okay next uh, yeah here the dft of the vector it is given 2 3 the primitive square root of the unity for uh, wt is minus 1 like this here so you can represent this all are uh, like that weighting functions x of 0 multiplied with x of 0 x of 1 finally this value is primitive square root square root of the unity for uh, w is minus 1 okay so the after that there were the inverse of this next commit to this vector if the number of vectors are increasing here df of the vector 1 2 3 4 the primitive to fourth root of unity of our uh, w4 is i we have to use the solar what you call w4 0 okay and w4 0 w4 0 that is w n n is capital n how many n's are it is decided capital n is equal to 4 that's why when we 4 0 the solar case is 0 next one is 0 1 2 3 next 0 2 4 6 here 0 3 6 and 9 multiply with this all x of 0 x of 1, x of 2 and x of 3. Okay, after this, after multiplying this all R, you can consider that R, this is the, uh, the primitive fourth root of unity for uh, eating function, total factor W4. So, this one nothing but 1, all 1s, this side all 1s, it is all 1s, next i, i, here it is plus i, here is a minus i, middle of that, minus 1, minus 1, according to this value, minus 1, minus i, 1, minus 1, minus 1, and i, i. This, so, where this all are x of 0, that x of 0 is, we know, x of 0 equal to 1, x of 1 is, what do you call, 2, x of 2 is, what do you call, that 4, that x of 3 is, 3. That's so why it is mentioned that all uh, this all account after simplifying this table, it looks like this. After simplifying, after substituting these values are like this x of 0 equal to 1, x of 1 is equal to 2, x of 2 equal to 4, x of 3 equal to 3. After multiplying this matrix, which I write x to the 10 minus 3 minus 1, 0 minus 3 plus i. Okay, this, using this all the primitive, primitive fourth root of the unity for heating uh, function, the total factor of 4 is i. Right, you expect this all values are like this. So, inverse of this, inverse of discrete Fourier transform, here it is 1 by 4 into same thing. Just uh, reverse of this and compare to this the previous one, here it is. This will become evaluate this. So compare this minus this case, this all are one. Okay. Minus j plus j here plus sorry minus i minus i plus i plus i minus i. Remaining all are what you call ones, but here it is minus one, minus one, minus one. All are minus ones. Okay, middle of that one. Compare this one. Previous one is what is that? The previous case is try to verify that compare this uh, what do you call inverse or DFT fourth root of the unity four. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, here it is same here one all ones. Here it is plus i minus i 
minus sign plus sign. At this side, what do you call minus? Here it is minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one. Here, yeah, middle of that one. Same. So here it is that is changed in what you call given value. Okay. So the four, eight, and so on because of this. Okay, now the DFT representation of the finite duration sequence is like this x of j omega is equal to the summation n is equal to minus infinity plus infinity x of n and t power what do you call e power ok yeah there is a uh, e power this value that x of n is equal to 1 by 2 pi Integral x of j according to the previous one. So, we are to verify this all or x of j. This all we have discussed. Yeah, there is a relationship between that uh, DFT for, uh, for computing that uh, efficient competition. The DFT expression can be expressed as x of n is equal to x of n is equal to what you call x of n, where x is equal to x of n into wn. Here, wn is looks like w. N like this variety represent where x of x equal to x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, n. so all transpose t. x of n is the transpose of the input sequence where uh, wn is the weighting function or Tudel factor. wn is the n into n matrix that is wn is wn suffix n is equal to what you call all are ones one 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 and so on because all are wn according to this how do we know this so where it is four point dft of the sequence is zero one two three and so on x of zero equal to like this how do we have uh, verified this all like this we have we should follow this all efficient computation while uh, with reference to that uh, what you call DFT discrete Fourier transform. Okay, like this, we will uh, verify that all theoretically as well as in the man manually the efficient computations while you are using the DFT. Okay, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.